Well, great afternoon. <coughs> Excuse me. Having a bit of technical difficulties here at the moment. I want to pull cards now. I'm going to leave a link in the description area. And this is really concerning. Um, it's about AI. Russia, China using AI to create deep fakes, um, deep fake supposedly, um, these are news people. We've seen some deep fakes now entering uh, with images of 45 and how this can be so destructive in a coming election. Now, we know they had bots this last election that were going on, and we encounter bots. Okay, um, I've encountered bots when we have been doing um, live, live feeds. And so I just want to pull the cards and see what it can tell us about these AI images and how they um, how they're being used, and how uh, about the destructiveness that they could t potentially be in our next upcoming elections, etc. So, what's going on with this? Are we going to get a handle on it? Are we not? Um, what what's happening? So, this is something that's strong that being struggled with. Okay, uh, when it comes to, um, now sometimes for me, the church can symbolize um, maybe higher knowledge or um, fake, like we have fake Christianity now, okay? So uncovering the fakes, this uh, using deceptive means like we have you know, about antichrist against Christ being promoted as Christ, but it's an antichrist, a, uh, so that's what I get from this. Kind of that using these fakes to subvert the reality and the struggle that we're having with that. Here we have the honest and we have this fake wrapping around it, you know, and uh, so this is basically telling me what we're dealing with in in these fakes and AI and uh, other countries using it as a weapon, okay, weaponizing its use. So let's see what we have. I'm going to try using, now I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to use the Kipper deck with this as well and just see what we have. So going into it, we have first thing out of the box is a main female. Now the main female could be, sometimes for me in this deck, the Kipper can be, main female can be like America. Consequences for America, our rules, our laws, um, the way that we uh, comport ourselves, etc. Uh, the snake, yeah. So this would be a tactic used against America, okay, a tactic that's being used against America, and it is toxic. So this is coming into it as a warning that this could be something very toxic, very calculated against America. Um, now we know that Putin or Xi Jinping or... Um, you know, some of the other ones, North Korea, any of these dictator types would love to take down America, okay? They would love to give a toxic blow. So let's see what we have above it is, yeah, wanting to control, to control the action, to control the thoughts, to control what's being seen or what's being, so this is a way to hold on to power and to plant seeds for an unhappy harvest. So um, this is no joke. 
is what it's saying, the first thing out of the box. This is a way to control a narrative, to plant toxic seeds, a viperous type of a happening against America. Okay. Now, I don't want people to get freaked out by this at the moment. Don't start panicking. Let's see what the rest of it is that we have. So what's going on now? We have the false person. So yeah, if you are creating deep fakes, it's a false persona. There is nothing real about it, but it's being at the heart of it. Yeah, at the heart of it is being a fake, being false, setting up this poisonous delusion. So above it, we have judgment. We need to really... We need to look at this carefully, okay? The judgment and put an end to it. We need to be able to put this to rest, find a way and uh, a way around these deep fakes and to retire them. This is something, again, the judgment is something we need to take seriously on this front at the center of it bad health. Let's face it, these deep fakes that are being put out, these AI generated images and bots are there to cause ill health. Yeah, they're conniving. They are um, coming from not light. They're coming from darkness. They're coming from deception. They are coming from uh, that thing in order to control what? White House. Okay. They want to control government. They want to co control the actions of who gets into the White House. Exactly. Moving it forward. So this is really something we need to be concerned about. This AI images, these deep fakes, when it comes to our next elections, etc. Now, again, we see what they did with this last election, with these bots and things putting out misinformation and drama. Well, the deep fakes, this gets even more, um, more destructive because it's uh, very difficult to, um, to manage and to see through. The challenge is the house where we live. Also could be uh, the government, could be um, our electors, but let's see what we have. Yeah, the long-term path of this is something we really need to be concerned about. I think this has to do with the house, the Senate, et cetera, uh, what's being held to. and the foundation of it, investigate this. Really, we need to do a deep investigation into this because we know that there are Repugliuglis that are on the payroll of Putin, that are on the payroll. I mean, we just had also the Supreme Court. Thomas has been on the take for years, having these you know, tycoon whining and dining and giving him luxury cruises and vacations. And, you know, this was, and that this is something that they talked about a while ago, and I keep bringing up what is going on with that. They were looking into uh, these things being given, these gifts by these tycoons, by these special interest groups to the Supreme Court judges in order to gain their favor in rulings, okay? So this is the tip of an iceberg that's coming out now. The clarification about this is the courtship. Yeah, who's involved with this, okay? The occupation, who's working on this? Who's on the take? What is happening with this? the courtship. We need to have the knowledge. Again, we need to look deeper. We need to check out the evidence and we need to get some laws on the books concerning this.
okay? Uh, above it, we have rapidly. This We need to really um, take heed with what's going on with this and who's sharing. What's being put out there? Is it healthy? We need something healthy because this could be toxic. This is toxic. Who's working with who? And to what advantage, what destruction? Now let's look and see what's underneath of it all. Oh, the first thing out of the box. Those who would railroad America, okay? Those who would be king. Those who want to, you know, the destruction of America. We need to look at what they're trying to end, how they're trying to do it, who's involved with it, okay? And put an end to their ability because they want to put us out in the cold. And who wants to do that? Okay, those, the uber right. Now, I'm not talking about the really genuine Republicans, moderates. I'm talking about the ones that are this MAGA cult, the ones that want to turn America into an authoritarian regime, the ones like Bannon out there that are anarchists. They want to do away with government. Now, I saw recently one of these televangelists that were talking about taking down the government, taking out America, okay? Antichrist again. So this is what's being struggled with. And we need to get some justice in place when it comes to this, some rules, some laws, some regulations. And we need to um, really be aware of where this is going because it is a dark plan that is what fishtails, lies. So this is what we are juggling at the moment. And we need to look at it deeply in order to move forward because this is a burden and we need to have a victory. So um, <clears throat> we're going to break this down. Let me get here. What is our major arcana underneath of it fueling this? Okay, fueling it. We have, let me get these in the order they are. We have those who would be king, those who want to control the power, etc. Okay, those who want to bring an end to democracy. We have justice. We need to really look at this with those who are involved in these dark plans, who's chained to it, and we need to really take action. Because let's look at this again. We got the false people under there at the heart of it. We need to have a right judgment because they are using bad health. They are conniving trying to move forward these uh, our elections as to who gets into the White House, okay? And the challenge is we need to look at this and investigate it deeply and start to take measures against it and not be blind as to what is going on, just the absolute heinous nature of this. So again, going into it, this is a toxic, venomous uh, thing being perpetrated against America by false people at the heart of it. They want to cause America to have a bad health. They want to implement these seeds into a destruction. Um, so this is a long-term path that our government really needs to look at. Who's involved in this? Who's courting this? And we need to get laws on the books against it. Okay. So let's see what we have. Um, going into it again. The day-to-day -day things. They want to plant seeds. And this is what? The unhappy harvest. Okay. Because why? They want to hold on to power. 
they want to hold on to power. So they are using these deep fakes, these bots, these uh, faked personas being put out as genuine people to disseminate destructive uh, seeds against government, against democracy. Okay, so uh, what it has here, we need to look at the books, we need to get the information of who all is involved in this, what's being shared. We need to share the good, the bad, and the ugly. We need to look at what's beneficial and look at what's toxic in this, so important. And then we have, you know, because they are trying to retreat. They want to put in uh, false information. Okay, we have this all over, not only in AI, but also the dumbing down, attempting to dumb down Americans uh, when it comes to uh, what's being presented in schools, change history, change the books, repress the books, all of these things they do, like in uh, Germany when we had Hitler and stuff, you know, implanting these seeds of destruction and hate, vilification, pulling away education, suppressing all of that, okay? Suppressing the intellect. So this is something we need to really watch. Why? Because they want to control. They want to control what? Our government, America, who's in the White House, and they want to do it when? Rapidly, okay? So they are full speed on this AI, uh, false identities, false information, um, propaganda of a destructive means. So this is really something that we need to be vigilant about, and we need to really take this seriously. Now, I had no idea going into this. I ran across this thing, and I'm going to put the link in here I would urge people to watch it about AI generated things and just how destructive they are and how these can be used uh, when it comes to ones like Putin, Xi Jinping. Um, all right, come on, Mr. By North Korea, uh, by all of these dictators and the ones like Bannon, anarchists that are against America, ones that like the MAGA crowd that want a dictatorship, the ones that are the Antichrist, the Antichrist ones that are again infiltrating the churches, even evangelicals have become, instead of evangelicals, the higher ones, it's the evil angels that are promoting this destruction and an antichrist in the place of genuine Christianity. So again, this is going uh, like the one I was talking, the light versus the dark. This is just another aspect of that. Now again, I don't want to cause panic. I don't want to light winds out over darkness. Remember, we are eternal beings, okay? We are eternal in nature. And um, I have a new thing that I just put out uh, today. And it's the, um, it's the good news is that light winds and shadow is just an absence of light. It's not a power in its own right. It's a perversion of light. So these ones, they have to start with something genuine and then they pervert it and make it false, okay? It's not a genuine power in its own right. It tries to steal away the power from the light, okay? So darkness is a shadow substance. It's a shadow of things. Light is genuine. Darkness is a shadow. It's an absence of light. Okay, it's trying, it's, it, it's an illusion. When you have somebody standing here, what happens? The light comes here and the ob object 
is obstructing the light, and you have what? Shadow. You have shadow that appears. Does the shadow have as much substance as light? No. Okay, it's illusion. It's delusion. So don't give it power. Don't give it power. Within itself, it has no power. But it will try in fear mode. It will try in, in this delusion, destruction, this deception to want to make you believe it's real and that it has reality, that it has substance, that it has power. Okay? <clears throat> and this is what is so failing about those that are in ego drama that want to cause destruction and think that they are powerful in doing so, but they're not because light wins. There is an eternality, okay? And those that are in this hate and destruction mode, they do not get to go to the heavenlies. They just don't. They, they go with what? Others of like consciousness, and when you get these destructive, hateful ones that are of that consciousness and they all are put in together in this dark outer realm, the only thing they can feed on is each other, okay? So their time is very limited. So don't be in fear mode about these types, okay? The good news is that light wins, okay? So don't ever lose hope. Don't ever uh, kowtow to these dark, destructive things that they're trying to put out. Don't fear it. What did Christ always say? Fear not. And that's their biggest weapon against people is getting them in fear, getting them into unknowing, into confusion. Have no confusion about reality because I can tell you having experienced what is God directly that it's all consuming perfection and that is why the imperfection cannot stand in the end it cannot stand because it is a blip it is an illusion and what is illusion it causes what illness illusion don't buy into illusion that's why you know people see me and they oh you're so positive because i know i know i've been there and when when i imploded into the divine is all of the mental illusion destruction uh, sadness uh fakery was immediately gone and it doesn't come back. Once you understand and you awaken, being woke to the reality, the illusion is forever gone and it can never hold one again. Okay, so that is why I am positive because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt what is there on the other side, what is the kernel that's fueling all of our lives, okay? At the center of being is the divine temple, and what gives us life fuels that life is the divine is, okay? So again, uh, don't be disheartened, just understand what's there, what's coming, and how it's working, okay, and what to hold to. Don't ever move to a position of fear, trepidation, and doubt, because that's what these ones want to do. They want to place doubt. They want to place, place fear. They want to, to feel lack, okay? And in the end, Okay, that it is illusion. So thanks for tuning in. I hope this has helped somebody along the way. Uh, you know, please just do your path. Find out what is God, what's, what God is and what God isn't. Okay? 
And uh, once you know that, once you know who you are, and more importantly, who you're not, okay? You are not the depression. You are not any of these things. You are that divine is, is which is fueling the being. It's fueling who and what you are. So you don't have to hold on to these dark, elusive images of, of feeling um, loss or feeling this um, lack or feeling any of these destructive mentalities that these type of fakeries want to put on humanity to continue them in suffering, okay? And wanting to replace the genuine with the fake, okay? So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you online. If you've enjoyed this and you think it's benefited something, please feel free to share it. Share it on your channel, even if you have nothing else on there. If you think these things can benefit others, please, please, please share them on your channel, share them on your Facebook, share them on your Twitter, whatever it is that you have. Uh, feel free to share any of my uh, information on here. So thanks for tuning in. Much love and light. And I'll see you online.